The world we live in is no Eden, and God forbid may it not be hell either, but it's almost akin to it. It's a dog-eat-dog, man-eat-man, cannibalistic, ruthless, merciless, shameless, emotionless, materialistic, and unapologetic, wretched world full of oppressors. It will put you down, debase you, demoralize you, and digest your honor, your ambition to achieve, your will to survive, and your passion to live. It will pluck the daylights off of your self-identity, make you beg for acceptance, and subjugate you into conformity. What you need to survive such a terminal malignant hellhole is an unconquerable heart, a heart that pounds 24-7 at the roots of oppression with perseverance and conviction. Meet my protagonist, the Mighty Five Unconquerable Hearts. Carlos Daniel, a.k.a. Calca Davy. Carlos Daniel is a Colombian by birth who was born into drug slavery. To escape brutality of the drug traffickers, he runs away from them when he is just a boy of 13. His journey to India awards him with a baby brother, punishes him with castration, and gives him a new identity, Kalka Devi. Kalka Devi finds sisterhood among the Hydra gangs of Kolkata's Son Nagachi, takes to prostitution, and ekes out a living for herself and her probably autistic baby brother, whom she relates to as her own son. Kalka Devi's devotion to her son Muna Kalika is pure, unadulterated, and unmatchable. She would sacrifice anything and everything to find a better life for her son. Her unflinching motherly love towards her son to make him a success in life, and the innumerable predicaments she faces in achieving so, is what makes her an unconquerable heart. Hazima, aka Hazima. Hazima is a Nigerian Muslim by ancestry and an American by birth. A born philosopher and an observant of the society, she grows up to be an individual of opinionated thoughts. She is genetically female, but psychologically male, and has always been discriminated at by her peers. When she finally decides to come out in the open, she has to fight a bitter battle with her own traditional mother and is even subjected to a cure for a malady at the hands of her maternal uncle. But she ultimately breaks the conformist attitude and reinvents herself as Hazim. Hazim later becomes the life partner of Kalika Devi and plays an instrumental role in bringing Muna Kalika to the United States. His passion to make Muna Kalika a success and the odds he faces in the process to ring in the death now to the bigots of the world through Muna's success is what makes him an unconquerable heart. Ethan Chapman Ethan Chapman is an American and of Afro-European ancestry. He was born to a black mother who was in turn born into unregistered slavery worked on the horse ranch of a wealthy white family all her life. Ethan's mother was a subjugated soul all her life to the male members of the family that she served. Ethan himself was born as a result of such subjugation, and he forever lamented his mother's sacrifices to keep him fed, clothed, and educated. Later, through sheer conviction, he rises to become a much-loved professional boxer, attracting the attention of Trayton Bleicher, the scion of the family that his mother served, and now the most powerful promoter in boxing history. Strayton tries to woo him into his fold, but Ethan's dislike of him causes friction. Revengeful Treton connives with Ethan's coach, tampers with his gloves, gets him charged with manslaughter, and pushes him into sports oblivion. But indomitable that he is, Ethan's desire to hit back at Threaten and drive an everlasting, magnanimous impression of his mother on him persists in him. Eventually, he discovers Bunna Kalika, deems him to be the right weapon to get back at Threaten, trains him to the best of his efforts, and even goes to unimaginable lengths to make him a world-class boxer. His efforts in achieving his sweet revenge on Threaten through Munna is what makes him an unconquerable heart. Sylvia Amdur 
Sylvia Amjo is an American of Jewish ancestry. She is a talented journalist. During a stint in Kolkata, she befriends Mona Kalika at a meager canteen. His innocence captures her imagination. And during a clandestine investigation on Kolkata's drug mafia, she is discovered by Ganguram, notorious drug lord of northern Kolkata. Vicious Ganguram plans to rape and kill her, but Munna intervenes and saves her at the expense of his own self. Munna's daring effort in saving her marks an everlasting impression of him on her. Later in the United States, when Munna Kalika faces an obvious lifetime ban from boxing due to Tretton's conspiracy, she uses all possible resources at her disposal to bring the actual facts of the jinxed match into the limelight. And to clear Mona's name, she even goes to lengths to enter into a clandestine and self-damning contract with Treytan Bleicher, a contract so damning that it would psychologically scar her for the rest of her life. Her unparalleled devotion to Mona in trying to earn back the rightful place that belongs to him and the length she goes to achieve it for him is what makes her an unconquerable heart. Mona Kalika Muna Kalika was born in India to an unknown Indian father and a Colombian mother. His mother dies after giving birth to him and he's left in the care of his stepbrother, Carlos Daniel. He was born deaf, is presumably autistic and cannot speak. Carlos Daniel, who later becomes Kalika Devi, raises him as her own son with some help from the Hidra elders of Kolkata's Sonagachi. Muna grows up to be extremely attached and dependent on his foster mother. Kalika Devi is the single most focal point of his life, and when his mother is put to shame before his very own eyes, he digs up the deadliest conviction from deep within himself, a conviction so tough that only the rarest of the rare could subject themselves to and live through. He does not rest until he's satisfied that he's capable of avenging his mother, and he ultimately succeeds in doing so. Later in life, his conviction to see his loved ones happy sets him on a grueling boxing regimen that's almost impossible for a physically and mentally challenged individual to achieve. But through sheer conviction and perseverance, Mona surpasses all odds and achieves the coveted heavyweight boxing title. Through this spectacular feat, he rings in a death knell to bigotries, hacks up prejudices, brings great name to his mother and her ilk, grows up to be an icon and an inspiration to all the oppressed souls, just as his foster father envisages him to be, and also avenges his coach's humiliation and relieves him off of his emotional debt to his mother, lives up to his lover's sacrifices, and emerges as the true, unconquerable heart. <laughs>